We've talked about essential oils before, but now there's a new trend with aromatherapy that people are doing to combat stress. They say to boost energy. This doesn't involve a home diffuser. People are now inhaling or vaping essential oils. And I don't know if we have any pictures of this, but the things look a lot like cigarettes. And we're gonna answer that question in a segment. What's the real deal? So these things, based on the mood you wanna have, if you wanna be happy, you wanna feel sexy, you wanna be sleepy, they say that you can just inhale, inhale these what? essential like oils. Inhale lavender or chamomile? All kinds of different oils, and it it's, looks like basically an e-cig. No and a lot of people are doing this. Have you guys seen these? I have. Natural yeah. herbs and vegetable glycerin, and that's what concerns me, the glycerin on... Well, wh why can't you just, you know, do it get it through way. a diffuser right, yeah. and inhale, or why do you have to get... But if you're some... inhaling it, what's the difference whether you're doing it this way or that way? Well, this, you're... you're... Number one, so... I always worry about concentration. But beyond that, I think that whenever we glorify, mm -hmm. whenever Smoke. we glorify anything that involves smoking and say it's good for you, I think you run the risk of mentally, okay, let's just say even if these did work, if there was some proof that they worked, which I'm not yeah. saying there is, <laughs> but oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna inhale this thing to make me feel happy. You're real close then to, oh, you know what, I don't have my happy essential oil to breathe in, so let me just grab this cigarette. I think it's, it's a habit well, that I don't love. And as the ear, nose, and throat guy, I, I'm just concerned that, that vaping these things may be potentially, potentially irritating, right? if not caustic, to your upper airway and your lungs. So. I'm a little concerned. And I think it can gl glamorize it too. I agree, especially for teenagers. They just will kind of do it and they'll think it's cool and then it will kind of be a gateway to cigarettes. And make no mistake, I have an oil diffuser in my home. And especially if it's a day where there maybe there's a smell in the kitchen from some food that was made. I love using the oil diffuser and I feel like it just puts the, an, but you're talking about a couple of drops of oil mixed in with water that is being diffused into the room over the course of an hour plus. As opposed to directly into your lungs. Well, I just, I also, I, what I do like, what I will say I do like about these types of things is there's a distraction element. We know that if we're feeling stressed and you distract yourself, you can take your mind off the stressor. And I do like that element of this, but I, I just. And it well, could be I an alternative. What if it is an alternative to smoking? I've seen these vape pens that have B12 and other vitamins in them, and they're claiming that that's a means to help. Well, that's different. Look, if you're going to quit smoking cigarettes to use something like this, of course, I could, I would say that that would be a more preferable thing. But more realistically, you could very well see a 12 or a 13 year old. Oh, I want to be sexy. And mm, they start I mean, here, yes. and then it's and moving yeah. on. Just, yeah. Yep. Just be aware. Be aware. We'll be right back.